Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. And the first one is six years of drone news, which is really exciting. We also have a new NASA drone, which is also pretty impressive. And then lastly, some DJI leaks because, well, you can't go without having some DJI leaks. Let's get to it. And first up this week, today marks six years of drone news uninterrupted, which is really impressive. A big thanks to all of you for making this possible. And yes, this is our brand new set right here uh, that we have developed uh, for this occasion. And uh, in the last six years, we've gotten over 3.4 million views on the news update videos alone. Uh, we've enrolled over 132,000 people in the Part 107 course that we've been offering for, uh, well, quite a while now. And uh, that represents actually a third of all remote pilots in the country. Uh, we also have 400,000 students now in the system. We just passed that bar and uh, 750,000 course enrollments from those 400,000 students. So uh, we've also issued 275,000 trust certificates for recreational pilots, uh, over 15,000 WINGS credits also on the FAA website and created over 80 courses on pilotinstitute.com. Uh, not to mention our exclusive Pilot Institute community with over 80,000 people. So a big thank you again for everyone that is making this possible, uh, watching every single week. It's not rare now that we get 10 to 20,000 views every single week on this segment. And uh, well, I appreciate you coming back uh, week after week, leaving comments, interacting with us, mentioning this when we go to trade shows. Uh, this is really exciting. And of course, we've got a lot more coming up in uh, the following uh, couple months. We've got more courses, more videos that are uh, being planned. Next up this week, NASA is pushing the boundaries of exploration with its Dragonfly mission. Uh, this isn't your typical quadcopter. Uh, we're talking here about a car-sized rotorcraft that is designed to fly on Titan, which is Saturn's largest moon. This is a pretty ambitious mission that is scheduled to launch in 2028 aboard the uh, SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket with an estimated arrival at Titan in 2034. That's a six-year trip. Uh, Dragonfly's primary target is going to be the Selk Crater, a fascinating 50 mile wide impact site. Uh, scientists believe that the crater might have been at one point uh, a pool of liquid water, uh, potentially for hundreds or even thousands of years, which could have mixed with Titan's rich organic compound. Uh, now, let's be clear here, uh, as Zibby Turtle, that's the uh, Dragonfly uh, principal investigator, she puts it and says that Dragonfly isn't a mission to detect life. It's a mission to investigate the chemistry that came before biology. Now, Titan itself is a wild place. Uh, from time to time, people call it like an Earth lookalike or the closest thing to Earth that we have in the solar system. Uh, it's larger than the planet Mercury. It has a dense atmosphere, about 50% thicker than Earth. It's also made mostly of nitrogen and methane. Uh, it has rivers, lakes, and seas of liquid methane and ethane. And it also has temperatures that plummet to a frigid minus 292 Fahrenheit. That's uh, minus 180 Celsius. Now, the plan here is for Dragonfly to fly in autonomous and hop from one side to another, uh, covering the diverse terrain from organic dunes to uh, water-rich areas like the uh, cell crater. Now, this whole entire endeavor is part of NASA's New Frontier program, and it comes at a hefty budget of $3.35 billion. So, why in the world do we even care about this as drone pilots here on Earth? Well, the, the, the technology that's going to be developed and that's required for Dragonfly to uh, do its thing is gonna be huge actually for the drone industry. In order to operate a complex quadcopter like what they're trying to do in Titan's extreme atmosphere with the dense atmosphere, the low gravity and then the temperatures that we just mentioned, which are insane. Uh, NASA has to develop breakthrough technology in, in autonomy and navigation and battery technology, which is what I'm most excited about. Uh, imagine all that tech eventually trickling down to our industry and uh, making our drones hopefully better. So in other words, I'm pretty excited to see this. Uh, we were pretty excited when we saw the one that went to Mars uh, and it was able to fly for so many years and do so many more missions than they had planned. So uh, it'll be uh, exciting to find out what happens with this one. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to wait another six years. So on year 12 of this news update, maybe we can talk about uh, how uh, this thing is now flying on Titan. 
Next up, according to a report from DroneXL, we might be seeing a DJI Mini 5 Pro, a Nevada 3, uh, something called a Neo 2 FPV drone, and even possibly an Osmo Nano. Uh, now, these are obviously strictly rumors at this stage, and the reports didn't really include any concrete details or specific leaks uh, or even specifications, so they're still under wraps at the moment. For the Mini 5 Pro, many are hoping that DJI is going to push the envelope further into the sub-250 uh, category, uh, Mini 5 rumors include a 1-inch sensor, a LiDAR obstacle avoidance, the O4 Plus uh, technology. The Mini 5 also hit the FCC database recently, uh, suggesting a much larger battery than the one that's on the Mini 4 Pro. Now for the Avada 3, building on the success of the predecessor, uh, we're anticipating some upgrades to the camera system for uh, crisper FPV footage. We might also see DJI O4 Plus transmission for better range and more stability, and then of course improvement in the flight duration and the durability which uh, would be all fantastic. As far as the Neo 2 FPV, that's a bit more mysterious. Uh, could this be just a specialized FPV offering? We're not quite sure at the moment, but details are pretty sparse. And then the Osmo Nano sounds intriguing, possibly a super compact gimbal that would be an on-the-go type thing for uh, stabilized footage. And again, this is all pure speculation at the moment and rumors, but uh, we've seen a lot of this information in the past turn out to be true. So we'll find out. We'll keep you updated as more things come out of DJI. Uh, Hopefully we get these models, unlike the Mavic 4 Pro, uh, currently unavailable in the US. And then over on Post Flight this week, we're going to talk about more news that didn't really make the cut here, including John Deere acquiring a uh, company called Centra Drones. We have the FAA approving Amazon to deliver lithium product, and then a DJI M600 that was used to film the ongoing Kilauea. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll be back on Monday for live Q&A and then news update again next Friday and we'll see you then.